You know, a recent Hill article says the DOE is destroying an important piece of our Cold War nuclear programs, uranium-233. You know, there's been talk of a uranium stockpile, which this uh, Congress funded last year, which has carried over, and we are uh, this month sending out a request for information about the creation of a U.S.-based uranium stockpile. Uranium-233 is not part of the planned United States uranium stockpile. In 2015, it was reported that the DOE planned to sign a 10-year agreement to build a molten salt reactor with China. What's the status of that agreement? I'm going to get back to you on that. You know, a recent Hill article says the DOE is destroying an important piece of our Cold War nuclear programs, uranium-233. Have you read the 2008 IG report that cites that U-233 is vital to our national interest? Have you read I have that? not read the report. Okay. Thank you. Chairman Reed, I'd like permission to submit this report to the record, please. Without objection. Thank you. Just one other question. U-233 costs the U.S. billions to create and store. Billions. And as we speak, we're destroying. We're going to eventually need it. And we're spending more money than, than it's imaginable. There's not a lot of it. Why would we destroy something that and eventually is going to be that valuable to this country? I would ask whether Dr. Verdon has a response to this. I have to look into that as well. Um, it is important that uh, the United States provide the means for its own use. And we are, um, you know, there's been talk of a uranium stockpile, which this uh, Congress funded last year, which has carried over. And we are uh, this month sending out a request for information about the creation of a U.S.-based uranium stockpile. I got another article, too, uh, from The Hill on uh, uranium-233, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to submit to. Without objection. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you both. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uranium-233 is not part of the planned United States uranium stockpile. It's not a mined mineral. It's a man-made isotope of uranium. Different from natural uranium, different from enriched uranium. U-233, in an appropriately designed reactor, enables nuclear power without the creation of plutonium. It's the only way to do this. Plutonium is a pain. It's one of the reasons why nuclear waste isn't reprocessed. U-233 enables us to harness nuclear power without creating plutonium. China and India are busy creating U-233 for their own advanced reactors, while America is busy destroying its own supply. This is a terrible, wasteful, and expensive mistake. U-233, over time, creates a rare material, which creates a life-saving medical isotope, which can be used to fight dispersed cancers such as leukemia. That will be the way we treat metastatic cancer disease, by having antibodies of high specificity carrying little nuclear weapons to destroy the tumors. You need only a tiny amount of this highly radioactive material to give a really big dose to the tumor. Right now at Oak Ridge National Lab, such materials are being created and harvested. This is a wonderful thing. However, after the life-saving medical isotopes are harvested, the U-233 is being mixed with natural uranium. This is called downblending. It renders the uranium-233 useless forever. U-233 is the ultimate source of otherwise unobtainable medical isotopes. U-233 is also needed for the development of amazingly efficient advanced nuclear power. China is building just such a reactor right now. They call it TMSRLF1, Thorium Molten Salt Reactor Liquid Fuel 1. China will use TMSR to create life-saving medical isotopes, to create pollution-free energy, and to demonstrate their technological superiority over the United States. China isn't just passing the U.S. on this. America is headed in the wrong direction. Save the U-233. Do not downblend it.